Even as Russian national Maria Butina is pleading guilty of her actions as an illegal foreign agent in the U.S., in the latest, Russia has trashed the case made by U.S. authorities as completely groundless. Russia believes that Maria was tortured to get her to take the guilty plea, admitting that she worked with a senior Russian official to infiltrate a U.S. gun rights group and the Republican Party to influence America's foreign policy. Now, Russia's foreign affairs minister has said that uh, he believes that U.S. authorities kept Maria in conditions designed specifically to break her and push her to make a false guilty plea. Butina had pleaded guilty on Thursday. However, no evidence was furnished proving that she worked for any of Russia's spy agencies. Butina has reportedly admitted that she worked to establish unofficial lines of communication with influential Americans to infiltrate U.S. politics. Prosecutors say federal agents found Butina was in touch with agents of Russia's federal security services and Russian intelligence officials and also say that the FBI photographed her having dinner with a diplomat suspected of being a Russian intelligence agent. Prosecutors have argued that Butina and her Russian patron Alexander Torshin employed Russian back channels during the 2016 election campaign in the U.S. when Republican Trump defeated Democrat Hillary Clinton. We have Lucy Taylor, our correspondent, joining us live from Moscow for the latest on the story. Lucy, developments unfolding as we speak. Uh, talk to us, uh, what is the latest you're picking up and what do you make of Russia's response uh, to Butina pleading guilty in the U.S.? Well, Russia today has said these accusations are baseless. And as you were saying, the foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has implied that the reason that Maria Butina has made this guilty plea is because she was treated badly in the U.S., tortured, he said. Um, and it, she's just willing to say anything in order to secure her release and to get back to Russia. And um, this is what Russia has been saying all along, ever since her arrest earlier this year. Um, but it, it goes further than just a denial. They're not just denying that any of this is true. They're actually actively campaigning for her release, actively trying to raise the profile of this case to try to change its outcome. For example, the Russian Foreign Ministry has had Maria Butina's face as its profile picture on social media ever since she was arrested. Uh, the Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has spoken directly to the US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo about this case. And earlier this week, we heard from Vladimir Putin, the president, who said that he'd asked around among intelligence officials and none of them had ever heard of Butina before her arrest. So a very strong line from Russia saying this isn't true, nothing is true. And even after a guilty plea by Maria Putina, even after we know that she is now cooperating with U.S. prosecutors, they still continue to stick to that line. Lucy Taylor, our correspondent, joining us with that latest live update from Moscow. Uh, Lucy, before we let you go, uh, talk to us in terms of what's going to happen from here, because the way things stand, Butina has pleaded guilty. She could be jailed in the U.S., and even after her jail sentence in the U.S., she could be deported back to Russia. Yes, I think that's the most likely outcome after her sentence is finished. But this could be a long way before then. They haven't yet set a date for the sentencing because her cooperation with prosecutors is ongoing. The next hearing will be in February in the U.S. Uh, her lawyer has estimated that she could face up to six months in jail once that cooperation um, has ended. And after that, it is extremely likely that she will be deported back to Russia. Um, it does seem like the authorities here, as I say, are very much on side with her. So um, a number of different options of what could happen to her once she gets back. But it could be that she's very much supported when she gets here, despite that guilty plea. Some people have drawn parallels with um, a previous case, another young female agent, uh, Anna Chapman, who was deported in 2010 as part of a prisoner swap with the United States. And when she got back here to Russia, she became a media personality, very famous here indeed. Um, so I think it is likely, yes, that Maria Butina will end up back in Russia. We don't know yet, though, when that could be.